G'day ladies and gents. Just out here at the aquaponics. Just feeding the fish and the yabbies. Let's see if I can down in the sunshine there. Down in the water you can see some of the yabbies. Some of the nice big ones coming up to the surface. Got a nice big dark one there. I've got that camera there in and I was just feeding some sinking pellets so I'll add that in as well but every now and then you can see the um, silver perch and golden perch some barramundis, murray cod and again lots and lots of yabbies one of the silver perch grabbing one of the floating pellets you can see the goldfish down in there every now and again water is a little bit murky at the moment compared to normal usually this is crystal clear it's not far off of that at the moment but um, I just put some new uh, barley straw in just to, to stop the fungi, uh, sorry, the algae. So at the moment there is a little bit of uh, tannin in the water, as well as just a little bit of crud. I just added a lot of new yabbies in. So these were wild caught yabbies out of the river. Some out of the river, some out of some dams. But uh, up in the back there, you can see one of the nippers from one of them. There's another one crawling across the bottom. It's not too bad a size normally, I suppose, but some of these ones. There's a big one crawling up in the background there. Another big one in behind. If I put the flakes in, they absolutely love the flakes. So that's why these ones are coming up. They'll grab these pellets as well, but they really love the flakes. And right down here. I don't know if I can get a good shot, but right down the bottom there's some of the fish. It's uh, a bit murky. Stirred up a lot of stuff while they've been feeding, so but I can see some down there that are probably 30 odd centimetres. Must have done something because I've got a cranky bee flying around me now. The yabbies go well with these fish and the baby yabbies end up also becoming food for the fish. And there's mosquito fish in here as well which they also become feed for the fish. And there's a baby. What are you doing, Ratbag? Hey, you're a nutcase. You don't like that bee, do you? You don't like bees at all, do you? And there's a nugget. He decided to help me paint some bee boxes this morning. Nevertheless to say, somebody got purple. Hello little boy. What are you doing? Hey. What you doing? What you guys doing? Hey. What are you up to? Alright. Back to these guys. 
It is uh, not bad sized couple in there. About three or four down in there. Not too bad a size over there either. You can see them right the way up the back as well. There's a probably, I don't know, a few hundred yabbies in here at least. And uh, at different stages of life, you've got probably, jeez, I'd put it at least 175 fish now, somewhere around there. The latest ones have only just been put in, 25 silver perch, just the other day. Um, there you go, there was, there's a couple of silvers. And if I just stay still, they'll come up and grab stuff. see a lot of the yabbies feeding there. You probably can't see it very well on the video but through the sunshine I can look down and see the, the bottom of the pond out in the middle which is that clear area. There's probably you know, a meter of uh, irises all the way around which gives lots of cover, all of the root systems. Um, the actual plants themselves, the pots are sitting probably 60 centimetres above the, well not even that actually, probably 40 centimetres above the bottom of the pond. Um, there's metal doors and stuff like that or aluminium doors and things that I've just got laying down on two big pots that I've cut big holes in and put upside down there's a big yeti that's a good size very nice nippers on that It'll go well in a pot. Um, back to the plants. So the root system sort of grow down. So there's a lot of cover. Um, as well as the pots, there's the root systems and, you know, the, the plants themselves. So... Look here, you got that big yabby down in there. Nice big claws. All of these ones over here. That's a nice big one. Let's see if I can get that one out. been a good one to get. That was very big. There goes that big yabby. One of the gold fish way down below there. But I've got a new 24 volt pump and that does absolutely beautifully. It does all of the, the beds and does this, which I haven't got anything in. I've been pretty lazy at the moment. Uh, well, not lazy, I've just been flat out with doing bees. So I haven't had time to do my gardens very much. 
Um, yeah, I thought I'd come out and just show this today. You know. I haven't done an update on this for quite a while. And it's all going really well now. 